when, when I was at school, I don't think I really knew why I was being bullied. I think that's something that I've only worked out as I've got older. Looking back, I realise, okay, I get why people were weird with me and didn't treat me very nicely. And I think that's because I was always different. And I didn't realise I was different at school. I did, but I kind of, I didn't realise how different. I was the creative person. I was the one that wanted to sing and dance and act and everyone in my school wanted to do something else, but it wasn't in the arts. And so I was the misfit, the one that didn't really fit in. And there's one thing that I think bullies find in the person that they're gonna bully, and it's always difference. They'll find that thing that makes you different and then they will pick on it and they will break it down and make you feel really bad about it. So my thing was always, I was always sort of told, right, who do you think you are? You think you're better than other people or you're just showing off because you want to sing and dance. But people really struggled with that with me. And I, I do remember one girl just hated me and I don't even know why she hated me, but it got to the point where she was saying, I am, I'm going to beat you up when school's finished. I'm going to beat you, beat you up. And I remember being in my science lesson and I was sitting there and she was behind me and she was like, you wait, you've got an hour now or you've got, you know, whatever it was now, you've got 50 minutes. And um, I just thought, I can't take this anymore. I can't, I didn't feel like I could talk to anyone. I don't know why I didn't feel that. And so I just got up and I walked out. I walked out the class, the teacher was like, where are you going? And I just carried on walking. And I walked out the school and I walked out the gate and I walked home. And my mum was at home when I got home. And she was like, what are you doing home? And then I just burst into tears and was like, someone's gonna beat me up and I don't wanna be beaten up. So I still felt intimidated. I never felt safe at school, ever, ever, ever. I never felt safe, never felt safe at school. And that's not something that any child should have to feel. So I don't have a photograph of me at school because unfortunately I haven't kept any. And that probably tells a story in itself. But instead of a photo, I've brought my lovely daughter, Talia, who is 13. And Talia also has experienced a lot of bullying at school. So I thought it'd be good to see what it's like from my generation is obviously really different to this generation. And I see what Talia goes through. Um, you know, what is, what's secondary school like, where you're at now? What's, what's that been like for you? Um, well, having experienced bullying, I think that going from being bullied and then finish like it's all over, it's kind of worrying because I've, been, I've experienced bullying more than once, so I feel like maybe it will happen in, a fu in the future. So it's always a bit, like, nerve-wracking. A lot of bullies, actually, are identified as the person that's horrible and they have a, a horrible mind and they're just cruel. But really, inside, they could be so weak. They could, they, they could feel so bad. They could have stuff going on at home. They could be losing friends. They could have their, like, inside life and you wouldn't even know about it. Because a lot of bullies actually take out how they feel on other people. Like, that's a lot of reasons why reason it happens. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't make me feel good knowing that Tali is about to go into year nine and her expectation is that this year she'll be bullied. You know, how do I make Talia strong enough to face that? That's a challenge for me as a parent, to keep building her up and keep telling her, I believe in you, you should believe in you, others do believe in you. You've just got to be so strong and keep talking. Talking, talking, talking is so important. Just keep sharing that with an adult. An anti-bullying ambassador, I think for me, would have been that go-to person when I felt that adults weren't people I could talk to. Um, I think that having an anti-bullying ambassador would have made me feel much more confident going into school, knowing that there was someone there to make me feel safe. In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Here's how you can help. Text ANTI15 followed by £1, £2, £3, £4, £5 or £10 to 70070 and show your support online. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.